Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habata fillah A query was posed I want to start memorizing Sahih al-Bukhari For me it is easy to memorize Matun Alhamdulillah I have, I have my, but I have problems with the Isnad And then he mentions some of the other issues that he has difficulty with First and foremost, this is a minor dilemma and a great na'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored you with the ability to memorize. And also, not just the ability, but the ragba, the desires to memorize, as many of us don't. And we find in our studies, depending on where we're at in our level of studies, or whether we are not, whether we're studying at all, uh, that that is a great na'ma to be able to memorize and to even have the desires to do so because that requires effort out of your time and your schedule and that requires that you have, uh, that you see either the value and realize it and you actually want to implement that um, for your own practice or for articulating that or meaning giving da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to others. And this is a great na'ma min ni'amillah. Uh, secondly, I don't know what advice I can really offer you in regards to that, except that to keep up the good work and keep going forward. And it also depends upon, this is also, this is a great na'ma to memorize with the isnad and that if you have difficulty with isnad, but that is not min the, the, the ruriyat. It's not something which is an absolute necessity. As long as we have those who do memorize that, then this is sufficient. But it's not necessary even for all the tulab al-ilm or many of the tulab al-ilm uh, to do so. But it's sufficient that if you have that humma, that you have those desires and you have that ability uh, to memorize, then memorize that which is going to be beneficial. And this opens up another issue that I want to talk about very quickly, and that is gaining knowledge which will be beneficial for your society, your mujtama. And I feel that that's very important, and in my studies, from discussions with some ulama, and coming across the studies and from a practical sense is gaining that knowledge which will be beneficial and that's going to be beneficial for your particular society and I heard one of the brothers mentioning uh, and he had his view which I don't uh, share but he had a view and he was stressing the importance of the sciences of hadith and this is not to belittle or degrade that science. And that is a great, but to say that all the students of knowledge or all the people need to go in depth in that science, I don't think is necessary for every society and every place. But as long as there are some doing that kifaya, that farad al kifaya, then this is uh, what is. Uh, excellent and, and necessary. So uh, the discussion, the particular brother was emphasizing this and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and this was his choice but that is not also, we don't want to use that to belittle those who studied Kitabillah wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and chose other sciences to benefit from. And this especially is probably more relevant to those students of knowledge that studied in some of the Islamic universities. For example, some specialize in just Aqidah or Asul al din and some specialize in Fiqh, Sharia, and some specialize in going to the Hadith College, or some uh, specialize in the Quran or uh, the Arabic language. And all of those sciences we uh, have a need for. And that when one specializes in one of those particular sciences does not mean he neglects in totality the other sciences. And instead, when you come out of Jama Islamiyah, for example, you come out as a well-rounded uh, student of knowledge that you have in incorporated the various sciences. You've at least had introductory courses and so forth and exposure to the various sciences. And this is the case in probably most 
Islamic universities. And likewise, uh, students of knowledge that uh, travel and study in uh, informal uh, gatherings in the more traditional ways, depending on their exposure to knowledge, then they either come out well-rounded, and sometimes people, because they only study what they want, sometimes they miss certain sciences or going into depth in certain sciences, and this depends upon the individual. So, uh, getting back to the mas'ala at hand, uh, that is a great ni'mah if you're able to do so, and if not, then memorizing matun, memorizing the nusus themselves, because that's the most important thing, and just knowing whether it's sahih or da'if, this is what's going to benefit more so in the West, that we need more people uh, who know the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding because this is the level that the people are at. Now that's great to bring people to another level, but most of the people in most of, for example, let's just take America or in the West in general, they don't need to hear hadethana fulan, hadethana fulan. They don't need to go into, into that depth. This is not to belittle that science, but I'm saying people struggling with drug addiction, uh, prostitution and going to nightclubs and drinking alcohol and whether uh, weed is halal or haram and struggling with uh, divorce and all those other issues that if those are problematic in those sciences that's what they need they need to be taught on their level and raised up so this is my general advice is to memorize and benefit in those sciences that are going to be a benefit when you go you gain knowledge and you share that knowledge if you have the ability to go beyond that then that is a great na'ma min ni'am and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam on the Nabi and the Muhammad